friends i from today i started uh, making a video for uh, code java programming which is very very uh, mandatory for automation interview perspective because you know a lot of my friend asked me to make a video for uh, programming because they get difficulty when they, uh, they go for interview so i thought of you know making uh, the video of all programming questions which is very very important not only from the automation even if you try as a development for two years experience you will be asked similar kind of questions or maybe sometimes the same kind of questions okay so today uh, you know i will be starting with a program to find the common element in array right so this is my first program i will start with this common element into array before that what i will do is i'll just increase the font size little bit so that you know it is good right editor so the appearance here yeah. so i'll just increase the font size so it will be good make it and my system is going very slow and i'll just make to 14 okay so just little bit you know bigger font size Why is it increased? The answer. Why? Why? Okay. Now it's not increasing. It should increase the font size. Okay. That is only for uh, console. Preferences, structure to study the terminal. Just find the find the terminal and show you that works. Um, a better material. Oh, sorry. I think I have to increase this Java text font, Java editor text font. Yeah, I have to increase for Java editor text font, and I'll make it fourteen. This should work now. Yeah, fine. So, how to increase the font? Just go to preferences for the Java. You go to uh, color and font. Click on this. After that, you click on Java. Expand the Java and go to Java editor text font. Okay. go to the edit here click edit okay select the desirable uh, font size click on okay click on apply and click on okay okay so today i will discuss about how to find the common element into array right we need to find the common element in in array so for that what we have to do first first we need to have two array because without two array we cannot find the common element so i will make array that that's how we create you know array Array one is equal to what I'll do. I'll just create one array and I'll write here some data: four, comma seven, comma three, comma nine, comma two. Okay. So this is my one array, right? Now I have to create one more array because I have to find the common element between array. So I will create one more array. And here also I will supply some data: three comma twelve, comma two, comma nine, comma forty, comma thirty, and comma four. So here our aim is to find the common element between two array. So if we look at what are our common element, we have common element four here, we have four here, we have three here, here we have three here. We have nine here. We have nine here, and we have two, and we have two here. So we need to find what are the common elements we have in in our array. So to do that, what we have to do that first, we will think logically. Like before writing the program, first we will think like what we need to do that, how we can achieve this. 
so what i am thinking what what i have to do is what i have to do is your first first index array first i mean your first element of the array should get compared with every element of second array and that's how you have to do that otherwise you cannot make sure that whether this four is matching anywhere in this or not so to do that what you have to do is your first your first element of first array should get compared with every element of second array again your second element of first array should get compared with every element of second array because we need to find the common in second array right so to find the common in second array what i have to do my second element should compare with all if there is any matching i will say yes we have common element if there is no matching we will say no we don't have common element then <clears throat> my third element of my first array should get compared with all the element my fourth element of my first array should get compared with all the element my last element of this array should get compared with all the element so you can see that here here what i am doing that here my <coughs> this first element of array is getting compared with every element of the array right right so it is getting compared with every element of the array so to do that what we have to do that what logic we have to write my first element my first array element each and every element should get compared with all the element of the array see there is one difference here here my this element is getting compared with all this right my second element this element is getting compared with all this my third element is getting compared with all this my fourth element is getting compared with all this my fifth element is get, getting compared with all the elements right so we have while while writing the program we have to keep one thing in our mind whenever we are running a loop on my first element right whenever we are running a loop on my first array my second array should always start from zero and should go to the end right like my second uh, you know my this this to do that we have to use two for loop right first i will write the code and then i will explain you what i am trying to say that so int what i will do i will I'll take i is equal to zero and i will take i less than array uh one dot i will go for you know uh, method length if this will give me the size of the array and then i will go for uh sorry i plus plus right so <coughs> what this for loop will do this for loop basically will will run on this for loop sorry will run on this array right my this for loop this for loop will run on this array how many times it will run it will run it will run basically 1 2 3 4 5 five times it will run it will run five times right my this for loop my this for loop what it will do it will run a loop on this array five times right but here is one catch my second for loop my second for loop should run should run you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven seven times for every i of first for loop right my second for loop my second for loop should run seven times to do that what i will do i will write j less than a r r 2 dot length uh j plus plus right so here what will happen for i is equal to 0 right for i is equal to 0 how many times your internal for loop will run your internal for loop will run totally number of length of the second array right so what is the length of second array if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven times so your internal for loop will run always seven times for any value of i right so your second internal your second uh i mean for loop your internal for loop will run seven times for any value of i right 
when i is equal to 0 this internal for loop will run 7 times when i is equal to 1 this internal for loop will run 7 times when i is equal to 2 this will run 7 times when i is equal to 3 this will run 7 times when i is equal to 4 this will run 7 times when i is equal to 5 this will run 7 times right why i am doing this why i am running internal for loop for every for every value of i i am running the internal for loop for you know total number of lengths i am running the internal for loop based on the total number of length of the secondary why i am doing that i am doing that why i am doing that there is reason for that because I have to check the common element between two array, right? I have to check the common element between two array. So my aim is my first array first element, my first array first element should get compared with all the element of the second array, right? All the element of the second array. My first array second element should get compared with all the element of second array. My third element of first array should get compared with all element of second array. My fourth element of the first array should get compared with the all element of second array and so on. To do that, to do that, what I have to do, I have to run my internal for loop, you know, I have to run my internal for loop uh, based on the total length of the second array. Then only we can say that whether we have common element in array or not. Now, I will write the logic. How, how I will do that. I will write if okay then I will here write array 1 of i because my <coughs> first element of first array should get compared with array of 2 is equal to j right if it is equal right s y s o control space bar remove ln i don't want to print this ln and here i will write array 1 of i plus comma comma just to you know to print the the comma between the elements so here my logic if you look at what i am doing that here i am comparing with my first array element i with all the value of j all the value of j all the value of j of second array if it is equal i am printing it otherwise i am not doing anything let's run this program java please i am getting that this 4 3 9 2 are common i am getting that 4 3 9 2 are common right so hope you guys are understanding it how to find the common element between two array now what i will do i will explain you by putting the debug point because what i feel if you want to understand any coding put a debug point and try to understand you will get better understanding here put breakpoint here ok now right click debug as java application click on yes <coughs> now see here my uh, debug point is uh, waiting here so I will just click on F6 it will come inside I will click on F6 it will come inside now I will check my i value here if we have i is equal to 0 right here we have j is equal to 0 i will place one more time f6 right it went up it went up why because why because see when it came inside it was i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 so if you look at here here array of 0 is equal to 4 array of 0 is equal to 4 and array 2 of 0 is equal to 3 so both are not equal again it came to this for loop because i am not breaking the internal for loop so again for loop came i will press f6 now see the j value j value became 1 now j value became 1 
बट योर आई वैल्यू इज एस्टिक जीरो योर जेब वैल्यू बिकेम वन नाउ वॉट इट विल डू एरे ऑफ आई एरे ऑफ आई इज क्वल टू नथिंग बट एरे ऑफ जीरो इज क्वल टू फोर विल गेट कंपेयर विथ एरे टू ऑफ जे एंड एरे टू ऑफ जे एरे ऑफ टू जे इज क्वल टू वन सो दिस ट्वेल्व इट इज नॉट इक्वल राइट प्रेस एफ सिक्स अगेन इट विल कम टू दिस फॉर लो राइट कैन यू सी दैट हियर आई एम नॉट इंक्रीमेंटिंग द फर्स्ट एरे इंडेक्स I am not incrementing the first array index, but I am incrementing the second array index, and I'll be running till the length of the second array to get that whether we have any common element in second array or not. Right? Now press F6. Now J value became two. Now J value become two. So what it what it will happen? Array of four. This four. Array of zero is called nothing but four. This four will get compared with this two. Array of two. It is not equal. Again, it will go to the for loop, right? Press F6. How much J value became three? So uh, array of zero. This four will get compared. Array two of three. Array two of three is nothing but zero, one, two, three, nine, nine. It is not equal. Again, it will go. Now J value became <coughs> four. So array two of J. What is four? Zero, one. Two, three, four, forty. Forty will check with array one of zero is equal to four, not equal. F six. Now five, J five, right? So J five, J five means zero, one, two, three, four, five, thirty is equal to four. No. F six. Now J is equal to six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six is equal to four. Four is equal to this array of zero four. Array of array one of zero is four. Yes, it is equal. It will go inside. See, first time it came inside. First time it came inside. Press. And one more thing. One more thing. We are already reached to uh, end, right? So this for loop will close. This for loop will close. It will go to. I mean, this for loop will. Will stop and it will go to the external for loop because this for loop we can run only till the array two dot length. We can run only till the array two dot length and we have already reached to to the length. We have already reached to the length because our j value is six, right? J value is six and this length value is also one two three four five six. Length value is seven, but we can run only this then. We can run only less than. So our j is become six, and array two dot length is seven. Array two dot length is seven, and j value became six. How it became six? If we place mouse here, we will see that j is equal to six because I am running the program into debug mode just to show you to have the better understanding and to have the better knowledge of programming language. Now j is equal to six, and your array two dot length is equal to seven, and you you can run the internal for loop. Only less value of j than array two dot length. So now we cannot run. One more thing: if we place mouse here, if we place mouse here on array two, if we place mouse on array two, you can see here also array three, twelve, two, nine, forty, thirty-four. You can place mouse on array one. You can say array one four seven three nine two. Right? This is the benefit of debug mode. Now after this, it will go for the external for loop because. This it will run only j less than array two dot length and j is already six array two dot length is equal to seven so now it will not run it will go outside but before going outside it will check for these conditions if I press F six see it again came here console may you can see that console may four got printed because it is a common console may four got printed because it is a common now it will check for the length now j value already became Six j less than again f six. See, it became out because that time here here it should have checked j value was seven. Now it came to external for loop. External for loop. Hope you guys remember external for loop ran for only one time and for that internal for loop ran for seven times. Internal for loop ran for seven times. Right? Because For this internal for loop, what is the condition for internal for loop? How many times it should run? If you think this code, 
you can see this code internal for loop how many times it should run it should run based on j less than array 2 dot length so minimum minimum it will run for 7 times why 7 times because it is starting from 0 till j less than array 2 dot length array 2 dot length is nothing but 7 and if you start j starting from 0 so it will run for 7 times now <coughs> the moment the moment control will go to the external for loop if i press f6 here see here now i value became 1 right because for i is equal to 0 internal for loop ran 7 times now i became 1 the moment i became 1 right <coughs> again this for loop will start and again this for loop will start with j is equal to 0 right again it will start from j is equal to 0 and it will go till array 2 dot length because again the j value is getting reset to 0 why it is getting reset to 0 why it became 0 because for uh, for earlier for i is equal to 0 this ran for this ran 7 times till array 2 dot length after that again it went to the external for loop now again coming to the internal for loop that time when again coming to the internal for loop the j value became 0 again this will run for 7 times ok just press f6 again it will compare array of i array of i the value is 1 so array of 1 of 1 is equal to 7 this 7 right so this 7 will compare with array 2 of j j 0 it will compare with 3 so it is not equal again this 7 will get compared with 12 7 will get compared with 2 7 will get compared with 9 7 will get compared with 40 7 will get compared with 30 it will get compared with 4 and then it will not print so again f6 came inside array i is fixed one i read this j value is changing j1 so 12 array of 2 1 array of 2 1 is equal to 12 right yes f6 again it went now j will become you know 2 now see here j became 2 and array of this is fixed this 7 i am comparing with all so uh, j2 which means 2 this value because array 2 of 2 is this value right so press f6 j value became 3 j value became 3 so when j value became 3 which means 1 2 sorry 0 1 2 3 9 9 will get compared with 7 not equal so j became 4 right so 0 1 2 3 4 it will get compared with 40 7 will get compared with 40 it now equal now <coughs> I this I is always fixed because this is fixed this is running for this is running for seven times till array two dot length right so j five zero one two three four five thirty not equal now your j becomes six zero one two three four five six equal to four not equal so this will not go this it will not print this it will go to the external for loop see it's not getting printed right it's not getting printed. So, hope you guys are understanding like how you know compare is happening and why internal for loop should run you know till array 2 dot length right because for every first element of first array should get compared with the second element of second array. If it will get compared then only we can take a decision like whether we have a common or not right otherwise we cannot take a decision whether it is a common, common or not assume that if I will not run this j if i will not run this internal for loop uh, till array 2 dot length so what will happen if every time if i will increase my j value and i will compare only first or uh, element of first array to the second element of second array second element of first array to the second element of second array third element of first array to the third element so i cannot make sure that whether we have common or not assume that assume that here we have uh, assume that here we have three right so array 1 which index is 3 0 1 2 index is 3 but at array 2 uh, 2 we have 2 right so this both are not equal but if you look at this array 2 we have 3 in array 2 so when we are not running from 0 we will miss this scenario we cannot say that 3 is common or not because in array 2 3 at the beginning but in the array 1 3 we have at index 
second position right that is the reason your array 2 should run from you know 0 1 2 so that you know you can make sure that whether your array 2 has common element or not if you will not do that you cannot you know you will miss lot of element which is common between two array yes you can do that if your uh, array is sorted if it is just sorted you don't have to run your uh, uh, internal for loop till the length right i mean for every i mean if your array is sorted your internal for loop should not run for every element of first array uh, to the total length of second array right you can just compare first with first second with second third with third fourth with fourth fifth with, with that shit and you will get the output but since here, here your array is not sorted you have to run second for loop from 0 till the 2 dot length then only you can get the output now i will press f6 f6 now what is my i value here i value has become 2 now i value 2 is 3 right so 3 will get compared so what what will happen here for i mean <coughs> j is equal to 0 now j is equal to 0 so array 2 of j is 3 yes equal it will go inside it will go inside the if conditions right see it is going inside the if conditions it will print here see 3 got printed still it will compare still it will compare it will check for like is there any common element still it will compare right just do f6 f6 see it is not matching again it went up now i value became what is i value 3 so 0 1 2 3 9 so again 9 will get compared with every element of array 2 right again it will get compared see it came inside it printed right so that's how that's how you will get common element between array right so hope this concept is clear for you guys and whenever you will get any doubt put a debug point right to put a debug point what you have to do is just right click a right click from where you want to debug so right click here i want to debug from the first for loop right click here click on toggle break point uh, to toggle break point right click here do debug as don't do run as do debug as java applications right just click on java applications uh, Click on Java applications. See your uh, here your you know it's it's waiting to your breakpoint. Right execution got stopped at your breakpoint. Now you have to manually you have to run by pressing F6. You can run that. Right? You can run that. So hope this is this program is clear for you guys. And if you have any doubt, any doubt, please comment below down my video. I will clarify your doubt. Okay. And this program is very very important if you are going for automation, uh, you are going for the role of automation test engineer for 2, 3 years, 4 years. Maybe you can expect this program. Directly they will give you 2 array and they will ask you tell me the common element between this 2 array. So thank you for watching this video and if you like my video please click like button. Okay. And once again thank you for watching this video. <coughs>